Well, Bob, I gotta admit, this bot mitzvah, I've had my doubts. I was saying, I, your son doesn't, your daughter doesn't deserve it. But I, I have to give it to you. These, uh, these pierogies are delicious. The traditional Jewish food, I think, pierogies. The pierogies. These pierogies are delicious, and this... Well, for, let me let me interrupt you. First yeah, of all, please do. L'chaim. Um, excuse L'chaim me. L'chaim to you. Um, and did you sign the the bat mitzvah raffle guess before it, you went in? Oh, I I didn't. I signed the uh, guest list. But least. you have to put two dollars in before you sign the raffle. That's, that's my required. Bad. Is that racist, Travis? Uh, it isn't. It's making you're you're now racist for <laughs> oh, assuming. Because for, okay, you're right. No, that, here's the two. You know, let me give you three. No, yeah. that'd be racist. Let me give you two. Yeah, like what you asked for. Give me exactly what I asked for. We don't do change here. Um, we take everything and the rest. Okay, goes well, I give you exactly two. So. All right. Yep. So if you uh, if you continue after the the pierogies after the pierogies, um, okay, you'll that's see, just one section. You'll You'll see just experience. one chair in this venue, and that's what we put uh, my daughter's uh, boyfriend on. Um, I and mean, everyone else stands, including yeah, and your daughter. Including my daughter, and they all lift him up, and then we and all... Travis, could you please, since, of course, you're Jewish, maybe right. we'll get a little meta on this bit. Could you please explain some of just what happens during a bat mitzvah? A, a bat mitzvah is a celebration of a, of a boy coming into a man. <laughs> that's not and, true. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and uh, they do it by like uh, the, the rush of testosterone and adrenaline you get when you lift oh. the man up or the boy, and then as soon as it's lifted up, it's like you it's know like, what I actually think it is. I think bat mitzvahs and bar mitzvahs they start the same, like they're the same event, and, it, and what happens during it determines which one it is because they inject the testosterone testosterone, right. testosterone in, and half the time it takes, and the woman turns into a man, and half the time they stay a woman, and that's well. What see what happens is to avoid any like uh, blaming, they they have three sets of syringes, and each syringe. Is sure. filled with two placebos, right. and one's of the actual testosterone yeah. uh, estrogen mixture, and, and all, all three are put in by the same guy. All, <laughs> and all three in are put in by the same guy, and then uh, then whatever happens happens next, and then the R turns into a T, and now you got that's a bat it. mitzvah, and that's you got a bat mitzvah, and that's uh, and that is how I became who I am today. Right. And that's when I said... And I'm pretty sure that I said, uh, fuck you, dick, you're going straight to hell. Hey, everyone, welcome back to the Collision Shack. I can't hear you right now if you're talking to me, audience. Okay, Okay, they weren't talking to me anyway. Hey, guys, welcome back to the Collision Shack. (laughs) <laughs> Me and Travis are the best friends. We, yeah, we, we love each our other. Our last <sighs> argument, Travis, was, I believe, prenatal. <laughs> prenatal. When I was it in was, the womb, it was you were telekinesis. Like, <laughs> well, you were in the womb. Uh, I was in my dad's nuts, and we sent messages to each other via telegram. <laughs> you were just a twinkle. And, uh, and yeah, no, it was a telegraph, actually. And it was like, oh, hi, right. stop. How are you? Stop. LOL, stop. We invented laugh out loud when we were. Uh, that was actually that was prenatal. actually me and Trav. Yeah, that, LOL stands for Lawaja and on Tra, Lo, Travis. Travis. Yeah, but uh, that was our own language, so we developed English after we, you know, grew up and did whatever. Yeah. Welcome to the Clinton Shack. Welcome to the Clinton Shack. Uh, with me in the studio, I have Travis Flusher. And with me across the table, just about three to four feet, is Elijah <laughs> Martin. Now, Travis, uh, that's actually right on. What? About three to four feet. Yeah, I thought you usually do like some. Jo- yeah, you know, don't worry about three it. to four feet <laughs> directly across from me, staring at each other. Just make sure we can get our bits and beautiful sparkly eyes. Um, oh. Travis, now correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm but I'm pretty sure I got it right. But correct okay. me if I'm wrong. The Collision Shack, we're a podcast that basically it's two guys. They're talking to they talk to each other, and mm-hmm. then they look at sometimes they, they they look at would you rather's and they give would you rather's to each other, and then sometimes they do other bits too well, I that would, are mostly based out of I, improv. You know, I and I they really, try to be funny. You know, I mean, they definitely try. Um, a lot of it's a miss, but sometimes it's a hit, and that's like the only highlight we make out of it. Welcome back to Collision Shack Watch 2019. I'm Bob Barker. <laughs> And I'm John Johnson. Oh, I already Bob, did that. Jo- I already did the John Johnson. Joke. I'm I'm Bob Bobber, and I'm John John. <laughs> John John. <laughs> All right, would Elijah. You, you want a would you rather? I would love to get a would you rather directly inside. All right. Me, if you, know, if actually, you will. I think I remember this one. I'll open it anyway. Yeah, oh, you just remember this one off the top of your head? Yeah, I'm just I'm committed to my craft. I have an enci- encyclopedic knowledge of all my would you rathers I've ever written. I have a uh, photographic it's memory, a black and white photographic memory. Black and white. <laughs> I, oh, you have color to you. I remembered you in black and white. I just looked at my phone and I looked like crazy. Up. It's like you could only Same. remember things in <laughs> black and white. I have a pocket white photographic it's memory. It's like Elijah. I heard you have photographic memory. What color was the shirt? Light dark. We need to know. <laughs> we need to know for the case to save 
of the United States of America. What color was the perpetrator's shirt? And what if you're like light? Definitely gr- a dark color. I can tell that. What, what if you say like light gray? You're like, oh my god, you're right. <laughs> and you ju- you ju- and you're like, fuck. <laughs> like it, it, that case is being examined years later. He just happened to get it right. He just happened to get it right. It's um, all 50s uh, narrator. Travis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From noir. Uh, would you rather have deflated balloons for hands or inflated balloons for feet? Uh. <laughs> so so I have so I flaccid <laughs> flaccid uh. <laughs> Balloons that I just flop around. Do they inflate? Yeah, and, and can and they, they inflate? They, no, no, they can't. But they can. I think you can control. Like they're, they, ha- you have the ability to control them. Like, like to control their movement, but like just barely. Like, like you have the ability to control their movement as you have the ability to control like Octopus Dad from Octopus Dad. So very difficult and almost not really. Yeah, very, very unwieldy. And, for, for the people and who haven't, who do you know what Oct- Octopus Dad? Octo Dad. Octo Dad is is like you have like you have you have a mouse and you have to moved each tentacle individually to walk around. It's terrible. It's, it, it's pretty t- It's pretty fucking hard. So I'd have to carry a mouse with me and then control it with my hands. Well, no. That's not the actual... No, but so you just have to deflate it. So you can just kind of like... So like you can kind of move them, but they're really inaccurate. And right. Stuff. Or you just have... You have inflated do, balloons. Are they, are they like... Are they skin colored? And do they have like no, one fingerprint? No, I think just like fingerprint or red. No, no. I, I, th- I think it'd be funny if it was just what, skin colored, right? And then it had like a fingerprint. Just like one fingerprint over the entire balloon. I think it's just I don't think you get a fingerprint oh, right okay. now. I'm I think it's finger- just a balloon now. Dude, I'm going off the grid, man. <laughs> going off the grid. Oh, rubberized. So what happens if I go to jail? They're like, so what do we do? I don't know. What the fuck? Man? I mean, there's like, other ways they could like you could take take, take a piece eye, of his hair. You know, hair doesn't last in files. I really oh I don't, that, that you have an thing? eye print, right? Yeah, that's how people are do eyes the unique? Uh, like, like thumbprints. Are eyes unique? Your eyes are unique. Or have Aww. inflated balloons. <laughs> right, inflated balloons. So, like, and I'm thinking, like, fully blown up with, like, your toes are, like... <laughs> so, like, like... Like, it's, like, <laughs> this is your... This would be your foot, but right. larger than this. And then your toes would be, like... So, so it, it's, like, the balloon itself is formed to look like a foot, but it's inf- overinflated yes, just slightly. Correct, so it correct. looks like looks like a swollen foot, but it's a balloon. I wouldn't even say just slightly. It's, it's way overinflated. <laughs> so all the toes are just sticking straight out. Correct. And like, correct. Exactly. And you can actually bend them and go... Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. It's like like a twisted up fork. Like you bent the prongs into like 180 degrees. Um, so, but then... Wouldn't that be a better fork? What? Because then you have more coverage. <laughs> if you if you bent if you bent the the outer ones to be like straight across like straight flat like le- like right. perfectly perpen- perpendicular with right. the with the handle uh-huh. and then the other two you just kind of bend at a at a, at at a, a 90, 90, 90 degree angle right. well, yeah uh, but 45. like at a, at a 90, 45 degree angle yeah mm-hmm. um, wouldn't that be like a better fork you can, so you can then, like roll it on can, the then, things well, well just... yes but I was thinking more like you don't have to aim so much with your fork you can kind of just like. And who more than likely gets so, something. So, you're, so what you're saying is you want, a, you want a mace as a fork. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. you just want to smack your yeah. plate. You know? I actually, yeah. What, what I want is a, <laughs> the, the same size of fork but handle with a chain and then a, a spiked ball at the end. that I can just kind of slam down on my plate and it'll always get something. So how, how do you – let's say you're eating steak and you slam it on the plate. How do you take the steak off without – I would just kind of like, and that, then like, and that's when you take a real fork and you scrape it off, and then you eat it. I with would just kind of like dangle the mace fork above my head and just like, like what someone if, feeding me grapes. And, and then what happens when the food gets stuck within the mace? You just gotta like just leave it in there. Um, that I had Eduardo takes care of that. Eduardo, is that what you call it? He's my ma- he's my fork mace cleaner. Oh yeah, I thought that was the, what you named your dishwasher. Uh, what would you do? So would you have Actually, inflatable? Dick. Wow. But would I, you I rather have my mace a, with my dick? You. Cl- like the inside of your dick, or you just and the outside. You attach you attach like a loofah to your penis. No, I just use the penis. The penis is really good. At it. Penis is is it exfoliant enough for the mace for to scrub? Yeah, metal. Yeah, yeah. It gets the it's all the rust it, off. It gets in between the cracks of the mm-hmm. of the. You, of do the, you use the tip to clean each spike, like urethra? <laughs> just stick it in there. <laughs> yeah, and I and I twist it, uh, twist it to, to get a good shine around there. When there's blood, that's when you know it's working. That's when you know it's working. That's exactly. when it's activated. Exactly. Exactly. So would you have inflated feet or? <laughs> I think I would do the front, the feet because yeah. at least those don't lose too much utility. Except a lot, they you lose a lot of utility. You can't wear shoes. You also can't balance on them. I don't think. So you're just have stubs with <laughs> balloons at of. the end of them. I mean, you could use canes like probably feet. to get around, but canes. it'd be really annoying. Like the cerebral palsy. Like and I think if canes. they pop. Like blood it, and gushing. Yeah, no, it's exactly. Like, like it's, it's filled a, with blood. It's, it's a major injury, so you have to like go get another balloon, like blown up and attached. You have to get new blood to put in it. Someone have to inject blood. Well, no, because your... it's just like it's 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 still it's a hollow balloon, but like when it pops, like there's nothing blocking the so blood you, from the can... end of your leg from just <laughs> spilling out. 
just, just empty. Yeah. So it's like, so it, could you sew it back up when the balloon heal itself? Does it have properties of skin, or is it literally just a plastic or a rubber balloon? Um, this I, is I important. Think, I think no, it's just a balloon. Oh, yeah. it's just a balloon. Just kind okay. of the proper balloon. Which one did you do? Uh, I would do the flaccid hands. The flaccid That's hand balloons. It's because these they're still controllable. Right. Just like I don't think they can like grip things though. Yeah. Maybe it's better that I don't grip things. Okay. Well, just... I, I, yeah, I don't want to talk about this anymore either. <laughs> <laughs> Elijah, I'm going to give you a fact or a fiction. You're going to have to tell me whether or not it's a fact okay. or fiction. Um, no, Elijah, you're going to give me a fact or fiction. I don't have one. Oh, okay. I mean, I, I mean, can you find could one. you can make one up really quick. Okay. Uh, Sir Isaac Newton, he died a virgin. Yeah, that's true. It's true. Go ahead and be correct. He did die a virgin. That sucks for... It's true. He also died eating mercury. What an idiot. Yeah, what an asshole. What a dumb, stupid... When six, when the Six Flags over Texas theme park opened in 1961, it had a section dedicated to the Confederacy where the actors would hunt through the crowd for Union spies and execute them by firing squad. Okay, and, it, when was and, this that it opened? And where boys and girls could sign up to defend the South as soldiers and nurses. It is 1961 in Texas. In the Six Flags Over Texas. That's it. Sixty-one. That's pretty believable. The thing is, I don't know how, because I know, like, if you said twenty, that that opened twenty nineteen, I'd be like, okay, yeah, that's a big thing in theme parks to have like themed actors go around and fuck with people and shit. But I don't but know if that was a thing in nineteen sixty-one. You think that in twenty nineteen that Confederate? No, I'm saying I know that now it's a thing in theme parks that there oh. are actors well, and stuff that go around no, the like, crowds and a lot know, of like like clowns. I, I don't Halloween. know if they did that back then, though. You know, I don't know if that was a common practice. Was, so I'm gonna say I wasn't alive. You don't know a lot of things, right? <laughs> It's true. <laughs> I don't know a lot. Um, know. No, yeah. I mean that that like sounds believable, but I think in my gut, I, I don't I don't believe it. You don't. So believe I'm it. gonna say that uh, Kennesaw Mountain Landis is my dad. Final okay. answer. Go. Yeah, I'm saying it's not real. But it is uh, real. It is real. 100 percent fact. So in 19. 19- so uh, obviously the reason why this is so uh, like interesting is because it was Confederate people, and it, you gotta imagine, you know, it's Texas. There's at least one black guy, the community black guy. He's like, I just want to go to a Six Flags, you know, token black guy. Um, was, actually, what I don't know exactly is that is it a Six well, te- Flags park or is it why like it a open? like like a. <laughs> Is it Six Flags or is it like Sixth Flag? The, the Sixth six Flag. flag. <laughs> and welcome to the Sixth Flag, where we have one one roller coaster here available, and uh, the second one we is lost on our other five flags. <laughs> so this is just the sixth. The Sixth Flag. Oh, it's it's like a franchise trying to like start up. It's the first of many flags. Listen, I, I need an experience that's a little more streamlined than than just one flag. It's just the Sixth Flag, but. I don't want all the onus of six full flags. Can I get right. like a three to four flag experience? <sighs> yeah. Okay, right, so this w- right this right this way, sir. Finally, a serious customer. Finally. Oh right, I can't open up this uh, this uh, this article to explain it to you because it wants me to disable my ad block. All so. right. Fuck it. Make Never up a story. Never mind. As uh, so in 1961, uh, the- Theodore Hoover um, was uh, Neither going. Neither uh, those even close. Was uh, you know he was like, hey, we need we need to uh, make America happy. Who was the president during 1961? Dude, you know I know I don't know that. Why Travis, are Travis? Who you're, was the president in 1961? You're 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 just gonna embarrass me. John John of, John F. Kennedy. John really? Yes. That was the first Kennedy. He was assassinated right? in 63. Well, 63. It was, was the first and only Kennedy to be the. How president. could I forget? He had such a 60s hairstyle, you know. It's you know blown to pieces on his yeah. <laughs> on his wife <laughs> on his wife such a sixty style you know that, that's sixty style baby. oh it's it's so great Elijah I'm gonna give you a would you rather because okay. um can't find the hold article. on real real quick I was uh just because I don't want to forget it I was this is actually based on something before but I was remembering uh I've I've been doing this fun experiment with uh sorry excuse me parties on the PS4 which if you don't know that is uh there, on the PS4 there's a system. Uh, like a, a built-in system uh, that, that are called parties that you can you can go in there with up to eight players and then you talk to fucking it's like really good audio quality you can right. talk to them right, separate right. from the game you don't have to run on the game for the shit and so it's really awesome that's what we use all the time and so you can't you you can name the title of the party um, right and can you but you can't curse in it or anything like it'll it'll bleep it out it'll leave the asterisk there but it'll bleep it out okay and so pretty much every curse word is is banned <laughs> but one thing I found out wasn't banned because it's a slang word is come. Really? Yes. So, so, so I've been basically once I figured that out, I made it my mission to like make every time so I make a title, make it a title that 
would be far worse than if I just said like fuck shit ass. Right. Like I, I like I, I I make it my mission to prove to Sony with every single one of my titles that I can make a title that is equally as unappealing as anything so, else. So so give me an example of like Oh, like, I'll give you <laughs> <laughs> well, first I started with just like uh, come in my eyes, right? Come in your hair, right? Come, Usual you know, stuff. And then I started. Then it went to <laughs> come in Obama's eyes, <laughs> <laughs> which I was just trying to yeah think of anything. And then so that went on to a long list of different various variants of Obama and come. Yeah. Until I I merged them into come Obama, come. And then pretty much from there, <laughs> come Obama turned into like a a meta horror franchise from the eighties. <laughs> So like it was like Return of the Kumbama, Night of the Kumbama, Kumbama sixteen, Kumbama lives, you know. Kumbama. And then eventually that grew stale, so I stopped doing it for a while. But then I came back for the for the vengeance, and I just started thinking like, how can I make like if like if someone from Sony read this, they would have to completely rethink their entire fucking censoring strategy. So like a couple of my new wins are like pools of my bloody cum <laughs> oh my god <laughs> that was really bad it's just like and so do you think some but, sony but, exec is like why what like, the fuck we have a surge in key words using yeah. our network <laughs> yeah. it's just cum. you know what's funny they ban coming though they ban the word coming right because if if you were to say like in proper english like oh i'm gonna come i, I don't I, I think you would just say c-o-m-e or or nothing yeah, i don't well, think that's like, a real word because like know. people say it right and I, I have netflix uh subtitles turned on right. and a lot of times it's spelled I, c-o-m-e yeah right? so it's never u-m right and, but i i think that's just a result of that not like come not being a real english a word. word and so they so, just like c-o-m-e you know but either way yeah come but coming i think is I don't know. I don't know because why you believe that's coming an, and is, not coming. I guess that's an adjective, and there's no noun. Of, I don't know because it's just it's called semen. It's just called semen. That's the word. You can't you can't have <laughs> right. You can't have multiple words for the same thing. That's I not wonder how if the semen English. would work. I'd have to try that. It's a medical <laughs> term. Come on. Oh, come on. I'm just trying to explain how us semen are just like <laughs> hanging out in this. You know, with this boat, gay, gay on boy, this boat. gay boy. I my uh, last one. My my one last night was come filling up your skull. <laughs> Oh man, that's that's like gives me a, a vision that it's, I'm not. I know I was inspired. Of. Remember when I, I a couple a couple of podcast episodes? Ago, I mean, more than a couple, but a few. I uh, read that list of Cannibal Corpse titles, and it's just like the worst shit ever. Like uh, addicted to vaginal skin, entrails ripped out of a virgin's cunt. Wow, it's that type of shit. That served as my inspiration. Oh my god, <laughs> for those newer ones. Thank you. Nice, <laughs> nice, uh, nice, nice. Speaking aside. of entrails. Um, <laughs> Um, would you rather, Elijah? This is from a, a user submitted. Her name is Noah. Um, would you rather drink hey, weak old bong water? Yes. No. Okay. Yeah. So, like, you know, thoroughly used, thoroughly filtered. Not filtered. The, the weed has been filtered through it. Listen, I know what weak old bong water is like. In that- Even if you just put water in a bong, took a couple hits off it, and then let that sit for a week, that's still repugnant. Right. Continue. <laughs> or bet three quarters of your life savings on roulette. Well, good thing I have no life save. So that, so that basically. <laughs> oh man, oh fuck! I have to give. Oh, what is it? What's 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 three quarters of a dollar? I think. Uh, uh, no. Nah. Okay. I mean, okay. Let's say I'm in a position where I do have a significant life savings. That's a huge gamble. Uh, right. So I, I think I would probably, from a logical standpoint, do your st- the you- bong water. But from an emotional standpoint, obviously the the, the betting bong, the, the betting bong. one. So you're you're Steven Spielberg. Sure. And you're giving this would you rather? What would you do now? You know, you know. I Ste- chug that fucking water. <laughs> That's what I Steven do. Spielberg, that motherfucker. You know, he's a he's an avid bong hitter. I mean, let's, let's instead of let's like life savings, let's just say at, like like net worth, seventy five percent of your net, net worth, worth, including assets and all that. So like three like your ha- three quarters of your house. So gone. for Steven Spielberg, l- yeah, literally. Well, okay, no, but you, <laughs> yes, like. Literally, that that percentage of your net worth will just disappear. That's just where does it go? It. Does it get donated to, uh, you know, charity? Or I mean, yeah, it gets donated. I to charity. think it doesn't. What? It doesn't fucking. Well, it's got to go somewhere. Ooh. It's almost like the Fairly Odd Parents, you know, universe. Like when you they when can't you, just zap shit they, away. They can't. They can't just invent things, or they always have to take it from someone else. That that's okay. So 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 for a fucking so they decided. I, <laughs> For a kids show, so we need to be realistic scientifically. You can't just make things out of midair. <laughs> you can't fairies. create energy. <laughs> you can't. You can't just create nothing. <laughs> but it's fucking I always, fairies. Uh, well, like, okay, let's talk about the show really quick. What would uh, what would I rather do? I'd rather drink bong water. Okay, yeah, so, me too. Uh, so let's talk about which is I've... terrible 
Thank you for this question, uh, by the way. But yeah. that is, I, I've you know I, how much dude bong water. Bong water like, is the disgusting. Most disgusting fucking vile substance. I wonder if there's some on the thing planet. called bong tea, where you use like bong water to filter tea. You're like so you f- put green tea in it. And then, <laughs> You're so funny. Could you uh, wait? Hold on. Could you like make bong water into like you know green tea or jasmine or chai, and then and just then and, smoke, and smoke weed through it. And then will it like taste any better? Or? I don't think. Well, I mean, there's been a lot of people like there was before they banned all that weed shit on YouTube. There was like videos of people like pouring cereal bowls in their yeah. bong and then smoking it. Right. You know, I also like, saw- how, does Lucky Charms work in a bong? <laughs> like literally, those are the fucking videos. Lucky Char- so, well, I also saw one with like someone took a dab hit with sriracha and, uh, instead of water. That that was why they just filled the, they do- filled the dab. Okay. I mean, bo- dude, dabs fuck me up. Yeah. Th- you mean you don't? I mean, they you fuck don't, everyone. But you don't I, do uh, you don't do the I, drugs, like, right? Like, no, no, I was saying da- like da- like da- like the like, dance move, like oh, dabbing. Oh, that they, fucks me up, bro. Oh, dude, right there, fucked up for a second. Fucked up so, for a dude, second. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse the, me. The I'm one sick. Th- oh man. I'm, uh, I'm so ill. I want to talk. No, let's talk about Fairly Odd Parents for a second. They okay. they so they had to sit down, right? They're like, let's k- create a children's God, show. God, get on with it already. <laughs> <laughs> they had to create a children's show and think of all the possibilities to get rid of the uh, the pervish and the the immoral uh, acts of a child owning f- parents that could grant them any wish that they desire. So they had a the rules uh, book. They're like, hey, the rules, yeah, yeah. They're like, okay, first of all, we the after thirteen or what is it like fifteen or fourteen? I don't. Know. You can't have a you can't have fairly loud parents because that's when kids become horny. And let's be honest, they're gonna be like, I wish Jessica would fuck me because like you know. Jessica's fucking hot, right? You're gonna fuck, you know. So like, um, I, I wish you hadn't used that name. Uh, I I realize in, co- in context. In context, my roommate's name is Jessica. <laughs> it's like not right. Okay, um, so and then uh, they have a de rules, and you can't I mean, you can't make someone fall. What, in love what with did you. it actually say though? Um, well, like you about the I mean, because that's the, r- the reason, right? Well, that that obviously fourteen year olds can't have fair lot of parents because you'll just use it because for you horny become reasons. too old. You you, can, you'll you know, use it for horny reasons, and <laughs> that's what it says in the last page. Yeah, uh, you know. it's like you can't have fair lot of parents after fourteen asterisk, and then you go to the final page for the guide, and it's like asterisk because y'all use it for horny because reasons. Because <laughs> the kid never actually reads the book. He could say that kind of shit. Um, and then they also get rid of, uh, like things like you can't materialize things. You can't invent money cause you, you have to take money away from someone else in order to get it. Right. Uh, so he's like, Oh man, I can't take money. Blah, blah, blah. Pussy. And uh, I always find it, I always find it super <laughs> convenient that anytime something goes wrong in the universe, it's like there's all, the fair, all fairly odd parents are like, you know, indisposed and can't, you know, fix it with a snap of fingers. Yeah. So convenient. If I might say myself, remember the Jimmy Neutron, Timmy Turner crossover, like films, uh, yeah. Remember the three D Timmy Turner. And that's the, that's the what I was saying. Yeah, you get, you got to see the yeah. different animation stuff. It was weird. Uh, they d- good I stuff. Like, I like when people do that, but like good stuff. Uh, as a as a little, you mean when they run out of ideas and they just have to fucking cash in? I love Fairly Odd Parents a lot. Fairly Odd Parents because I, Jimmy I like Neutron was when I watched a shit ton as a kid. I tr- it's on Netflix or something. I tried to watch it. Oh my god, dude! The animation, the animation is horrible. It's, it's <laughs> like it's fucking. They don't render anything no. after like five feet. <laughs> it's, like it's just fucking like, garbage. It's like, and they look like monsters. Those children, so smooth. they look like fucking monsters. His hair is like smooth. Like when it's I was a like, kid, I was like Jimmy Neutron. Yeah, he's so smart. And now I'm like, I, this kid needs to be locked up for his like, fucking looks. Oh my god! And then like, but like I. Anytime you look at any like scene, it's always rendered just in that that's room, so and then like out the window, it's like just a color. And then, really? Yeah, no, nothing Shit. is. Like, I mean, I guess that's that's pretty common in older. Yeah, no, but like animation. that's animation. Then yeah. it's like, oh, we had a, we had the. It's almost like a bug's life. Well, I mean, when you could only fucking draw the goddamn panels. I don't know that's not necessarily fairly odd parents, but like it was. I mean, that was right on the cusp. Yeah. When you still had to fucking draw every goddamn frame of the fucking thing, and that made money. How would they? How would they figure out like? Like how do they, they'd have to get a shit ton of advertisers to pay a lot of money for that kind of shit. Yeah, I guess people would do it all the time. Elijah, hold on. Let me let me just here we are. Oh, this groovy groovy. Oh yeah, Elijah, I'm gonna give you uh, three items. Dude, you're turning me on. And you're gonna have to make a commercial for it. So hey, it's not. Tr- this quick, is not. You're not turning me on. You're, you're you're gonna be selling khakis today, but not in the giant not in the normal. Here fashion of which where we sell khakis to each other we have to create combine three items instead i'm just going to give you I'm in a considerable deal of pain i'm from gonna, the boner pushing so hard against my pants that it's it hurts okay 
There you go. Because nice. you're turning me on. So, Elijah, I'm going to give you two items, not three. I'm just going to give you two items, and you're going to have to make a commercial, an infomercial, uh, targeting uh, an audience. And then I'm going to have to make a commercial for the knockoff version of that. Right. And uh, and, and that's 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 what's going to happen. And I'm gonna, that sounds groovy, bro. The the two items. Are, I thought it was wait two items. Just two. Or I could do three. You want three? Why would you do two? Only two. Well, okay, fine. It, let's do three. Wait, what? We always have always done three. Why would you all of a sudden do two now? But it's a different game. Um. Okay. So uh, a nail wait, file. Wait, sorry. Say it again. It's a different game. What's different about it? Didn't you just explain the exact same rules? No, it's an it's an infomercial. It's not a it's not a selling to another person. Ah, 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 oh, so who ah, who wasn't ah, ah, listening? Ah, 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 I was guy. trying to open the random list website. A nail file, lip gloss, and uh, tweezers. And I'm sorry, are these still all one item? Uh, combined one item. You right. have to make a commercial and just give me give me a general feel of how you want the commercial to go. W- one more time. Uh, a nail file. Nail file. A uh, lip gloss. Lip gloss. And tweezers. That's. That's extremely easy. Maybe I made it a little easy for you. Okay. Maybe, right, maybe right, I have right. a list of ten here, and I chose the three easiest. Okay. <laughs> all right. Okay. So, well, give me a feel of how you want. Like, is it like what's I'm the infomercials? Say, I'm gonna say like uh, definitely like a, a QVC vibe. What's a, okay? What's a QVC? a QVC is is the channel that like that they sell shit on, where it's like you know this this beautiful jewelry only twenty four ninety nine. All right. That, all, that's right what QVC all right. Is. Hold on. I got it. All right. Ready. I don't know about that. Okay, hold on. No, no, no. Hey, every welcome, everybody. Welcome. I've never watched one of these, by the way, so I don't know any of the tropes. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the fifth hour of the of the QVC Bradley Parrington Selling Hour. I'm Bradley Parrington, and I'm here with a brand new product from Spanko, the uh, the a company that is only that's based out of Prague, and um, they are oh they only exist there, and then we import all the products. So uh, this revolutionary new product is of course. Hmm, what's that? Pro? Ah, I've just been informed by my producer that the uh, the warehouse that we get all the imports from it's burned down, so we won't be able to get in the uh, the diamond jewelry today. Instead, we have what's that? Yes, instead we have. Sorry, my producer's talking to me. This, I know this is not how the show usually goes. It's so, um, <clears throat> basically, the product we're gonna have to plug in there to replace it is called the uh, the Makeup Boss Three Thousand. Um, that doesn't really, uh, that doesn't really track, I don't think. Um, he's saying go. He's saying go with it. All right. So, uh, we don't have any graphics for this one. It's brand new off the cusp. I see, okay. She's taking it out of her pocket. That looks like a, I'll just grab that. Okay, so this is my, my, uh, <laughs> this is my associate producer, Becky's, uh, own, own product. And it's a, it looks like it's a taped together nail file. <laughs> um, a pair of tweezers. <laughs> taped together and then crudely <laughs> and then crudely attached is a uh, lip gloss a, a half used canister of lip gloss so they're saying they could sell this one for as low as you're saying 2.99 okay so everyone we got to crank crank these tunes up cr- crank um we got to listen to uh, i guess <laughs> I guess we got to sell this uh, Becky's nail file. So any callers? Ring, ring, we, what? Ring, the lines are going crazy. Ring, what the fuck ring, are you talking ring, about? Ring, 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 okay, we're taking uh, ring, 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 line number six. Ring, 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 Go ahead. Ring. Line number six. Hello, hello, hello. Is this uh? You're here. For, you're, you're calling for the tweezers. Ah. Uh. I heard that you have some tweezers. Hold on, on QVC, do they? <laughs> does the person just take the call right on air? <laughs> yeah. To fucking sell the product. Hi. Well, I'm here to sell you nail file, uh, lip gloss tweezers, yeah. taped together, crudely taped together, <sighs> and written on the side is the makeup Tron yeah. five thousand. Yeah. How, how many? How many? How many? Uh, how many dollars a minute is this, uh, little, little little fancy boy? How many dollars? How, how, pardon? How many dollars a minute is this, little fancy boy? Ah, uh, we don't charge. Uh, oh, oh, you don't charge. Oh, that's so fucking. Okay, dirty. I think that's we're gonna so have to hang up. Let's so go. Fucking, let's go. Switch so to line. <clears throat> what are you so saying? Fu- line one. Uh, hello. Hello, you're on. You're on. You're on. Hi. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, there's a rodent in my garage, and uh, I was just I just was looking uh, around the channels just to figure out something uh, going on. Uh, is this uh, is this where I can buy a nail file, lip gloss, tweezers? Yeah, 
sorry, wait, is there, were you looking for that when you turned on the TV? No, but I, I just kind of assumed that I was going to use a nail file as like, you know, grip, lip gloss as slip and uh, tweezers to get that thing out of my house. So yeah. I just needed all those things to get it out of my house and uh, grip and slip. That it. sounds great. Yeah. So, that uh, great. no, we can, yeah, you can have, you can have it. It's yeah. $2.99. $2.99? Can you, can you get it Hold to on, me? Hold on. My producer's saying, apparently, oh, <laughs> that makes sense. These tweezers were Cleopatra's tweezers. This uh, we're ch- upping the price to seven million dollars, starting seven million. These are Cleopatra's tweezers. Now I get it. Smooth move, Becky. The whole time we were actually selling a real product. The entire time, you're Cleop- selling- Cleopatra's it's- actual tweezers. Does it still work the same as tweezers, a nail file, and a lip gloss? Yes. All right, then I'll buy. Then I'll buy it. I'll buy it. I'll buy it right off of you. Was the goal for me to sell that no, item? But I just, I just bought it because it was a All good right. thing, and now I'm ending it. That's the end of your bit. Yeah. Now I got to create a knockoff version of that. <laughs> <laughs> My version was already the knockoff. Okay. Or or you can give me three more items. I'm just I'm I'm, I'm no I, I, I like it. Make a knockoff. Make version. Make a knockoff version. Yeah. All right. So nail file, lip gloss, and then uh, I just gotta. <clears throat> all right. All right. Cool. 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 <sighs> right, right, right. Okay. Hi. Have you been a victim? Of this knockoff version of taped together Cleopatra's lip gloss nail file. Thousands of unsuspecting dads trying to get rodents out of their houses have been affected by this product. And today, with your help, with the returning of this knockoff thing directly to me at 123 Aviary Lane, you can get for just $23.99 on top of that the legitimate version of Cleopatra's nail file lip gloss. The other one, look at the bottom. It says the insignia. It says 2019 on it. It's stamped in there. There's no reason Should why you need that. to you need to to pretend like you you're you're a part of history. And think about it. Cleopatra doesn't have thousands of these. Why would she have thousands of these made? I only have one for 23.99. And if you are up at And if you're one of the first 50 callers, you'll get a free doggy bag with each purchase. And if you are up at 5 a.m., and I know, I'm looking at you, you can have legitimate Cleopatra nail file lip gloss. That's it. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, I, I'm sold, actually. What, are you going to buy it? I, I, I thought. Nice. All right, cool. Well, no. But well, oh. You didn't. Uh, that, how much but, was it? 23 dollars 23 But now you, now you got to make a rebuttal to that one. An- you get another, another commercial. Knockout? No, another commercial Go ahead. in response to Pick that. Pick anything. Um. Uh, Something, something maybe intimidating, not necessarily scary, but like yeah, a, a definitely an intimidating vibe. Dave Rush says that our Cleopatra Twizzer nail gloss is a fake, but have you noticed his? And it's like a, yeah, it's like a black, black, what's this fucking music? <laughs> Keep it on, it's fine. But Dave, what Dave Tesh doesn't know is that we have been looking into it, and we can tell those aren't even real tweezers. Those are just two pairs of scissors taped together. We see through your lies, Dave Tesh. Instead, we're going to give you a discounted price on our real non-knockoff uh, t- t- the Cleopatra tweezers plus the lip gloss regular nail half-used nail lip gloss plus the other thing for the only fifteen ninety-five. And if you're one of the first 75 callers, we'll give you a free Cleopatra nail clipping for free. Wait, you gave yourself the real intimidating music? <laughs> Our competitors seem to be like they're boasting the fact that we have the fake Cleopatra's tweezers, lip gloss, taped together nail file. We have the real things and we have gone to Egypt to talk to Cleopatra herself. What is she going to say? Find out right now. Well, when I was giving away my tweezers to these <laughs> okay. people, you know, for my name isn't Cleopatra here in Egypt who speaks perfect English and with no uh, Egyptian also, I'm accent. Alive. And also I'm alive. And it's, a, <laughs> it's a funny story. Um, they went back in time and invented a time machine. Oh, it's, so, it's so crazy. My tweezers are real. And now lip gloss is definitely half used, not fully All right. used. All right. All right. All right. Intimidating music now. Intimidating music. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's fine. Hey, everyone. I'm going to have to keep quiet. I'm outside of Dave Tesh's home right now. I'm wielding the buckskin knife my daddy gave me when I was 11. And I'm thinking about home. 
Because what I'm about to do today, Dash, it's got nothing to do with him. All right, boys, get him. Uh, what I, are you guys doing? Don't come yeah. in here! Ow! 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 Hello everyone and welcome! We have breaking news! A feud between two commercials gone right? Here at 11 with uh, Greg Frenderson and... And Johnny Fatson! That... Was that... I thought that was them, but... You find out the okay. two people who have been battling through infomercials this entire time gone right? They have combined one product! One real! Cleopatra's nail file lip gloss, half used! Whose is the real product, though? That's my question. We're up just now. We're go back to pod, we're just a podcast debating this now because it's, oh. it's, it's national news. It's, so, what do you do? Who do you think actually had the real Cleopatra nail scissors? Do you think any of them had it? Well, uh, if you look at the evidence in the first infomercial, sure. you can tell that the the genuine and the shimmer of with the with the slight uh, improvisational feel to the thing yeah. was uh was was just one of genuineness and uh and the sure. fact that it came from a, a genuine source. His uh, what was it? What is it? What is it? Uh, his producer's purse. You knew that it was uh, one of on th authentic, truth, authentic truth, origins. Truth. Well, so, what got me on the other side is the fact that Cleopatra herself did come back in time and and, and, and tell everyone that she did give. Uh, in fact, she did give the tweezers to that company. We, we actually we actually have a producer, uh, and we ran that through a couple of tests to the the de de fake fakeizer. It's like deep fake, but in reverse. And we realized turns out it's completely real. It's, it's she uh, really it's came a back in time. One hundred percent real. And uh, honestly, not even questioning the abilities of the actual realness of it but uh i mean I th i'd say uh we're gonna create a poll on our twitter patreon and uh just gonna go there and uh, vote if you believe that uh that the the cleopatra's tweezers that have to use uh lip gloss taped together with a nail file is real just donate one dollar and uh, answer that question really quick we'll, we'll wait for it right. just donate that, that dollar <laughs> just donate, donate that do a dollar we'll let you answer this question <laughs> we'll let you answer this question um do you have another would you rather yeah that yeah, a, yeah, yeah, that yeah. was a really extended long bit. It uh, had a, it was rocky at a, a couple parts, um, <laughs> but I think we uh, just kept going. We have, uh, but I think we we stumbled, we fumbled, <laughs> but we stuck the landing. Um, okay, we, we broke our neck, but we stood up. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> we were still on two feet by the end. Travis, <clears throat> yeah, what's up? <laughs> Would you rather uh, that everything you do from here on out is Five Nights at Freddy's mechanics? So, so <laughs> right, I need to confuse my head first. <laughs> so basically, and I'm talking about like the first game where you had—I don't remember exactly, whatever—but uh, you have cameras. Basically, they well, don't no, move no, on no, not just that, but basically, everything you do has like a battery life, and uh -oh. you have to, <laughs> and you have to figure out how to conserve it. Okay, mm -hmm. and, and then you and then you endorsed, reset, and every day can't it resets. Stay shut. Every without day. using battery. No, okay, you're thinking a little too specifically here. I'm talking about just the mechanic. <laughs> okay. And uh, and every day it resets, so you okay. get a new battery. But you have to conserve. So basically, all through the day, you have to conserve your like body life. Okay. And if you run out, you just shut down until the next 24-hour period. Or or uh, everything everything you see is like seeing out of uh, like when you put a pumpkin on in Minecraft. <laughs> so you basically are seeing outside of your eye holes in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> your vision so, is like a, so is it's like, like six <laughs> inches back from that. Yeah, so six inches just... back from that, and then like all like uh, centered. So like, <laughs> yes. And do exactly. people see like a pumpkin, or is that just what I see now? That's just what you see now. So like, and I can look around it. Like I can, like I can. Uh, when Correct. I move my eyes, they're not centered. I can actually look, choose to look through one eye, one pumpkin eye. Well, and, or look through yes, the other pumpkin eye. Yeah. Yes, but I don't think it'd be particularly helpful because you can't like zoom in and look. Like right. it's still it's gonna still, be it's like far a, away it's, from you. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. happen. Yeah. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Um, <laughs> permanently do? for my life for both? No, it wears off after six months. Yes, permanently for your life. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, God, no. sorry, I even considered like the, the rule. Um, uh, God, man, <sighs> every battery life. No, I would do. I would do the pumpkin thing. I would, yeah, yeah, because like the battery life, which is kind of like, mm -hmm. well, th okay, let's think. So, so it's like if you're doing multiple things at once, you're draining your battery quickly. Uh, so you have to try to like. So, <laughs> space what out if, everything you do would you rather every night this is a play off that one would you hold on let me would you Thanks. rather every night you have to instead of sleeping like like it, it's in a place of sleeping so once you complete this you feel refreshed at the end of it right that you have to protect your room like you do uh five nights at freddy's with things in your house you have cameras put around you, right. you have to like and then when it hits 6 a.m yeah they leave yeah and, but you feel refreshed you're not tired afterwards or Live your entire life with Minecraft mobs. 
in it, existence. Oh, oh, okay. So at night they come out and try so, to get you. So you have, you have creepers, you got skeletons, giant spiders. giant spiders, and you got endermen. You look at them in the fucking eye, they're going to attack you. They're going to teleport and oh, attack God, you. Dude, we're, we're dating ourselves. There's probably new mobs are in there. Uh, there's withers. Uh, there's ghasts. No, wither, we know about withers and ghasts. Um, there's uh, ender dragons. No, I'm saying there's probably even new ones. No, there is. I, I don't even know their names. That's how new they are. Like I have God, played it recently. God damn it. God damn it. Um, so we're, it, such, we're, we're washed up. Oh, we're has been. We're, we're fucking. So, quick side note. That yeah. game is like fun again because there's so much new shit. Yeah. Side note, we should play it. Um, so <laughs> side note, personal side pers- note, we should play it. Uh, Travis, you can edit this out, but tra- Elijah, let's, let's. Minecraft's fucking fun. We should we should go on a server and play together. Um, so what would you rather do? Uh, the, so Five Nights at Freddy's every single I night. I think the defending the or every Freddy. night as well. You have to do. You have to. I mean, it, it's like the same mechanics. If it's a dark area, they can spawn within like fi- twenty five feet. Uh, Away from you, right? And yeah, I think a I'd creeper will literally blow up your house. <laughs> yeah, no, or, I think I would do. Or you not the mobs. I wouldn't do the mobs. Or I think die. I would definitely do the five. Or if, of you, shit. if you do five nights of Freddy's wrong, you yeah, die. Yeah, but but what? But after a while, it's like the mechanics wouldn't they get stale? And you'd know all their all their moves. <laughs> Well, no, no. It, you know how like it gets harder. Like they like new new animals. Get okay, okay. Moves. See, I was thinking that too. But then after like after, the after like level. six months, there's where else are you gonna go from there? Like but everything in and your and now house starts Freddy to move. spits out fires out of his eyes. No, no, no. The computer monitor starts to move. The fucking like <laughs> printer starts it's to, like to float away from you <laughs> as you're trying to click it. Fuck. Yeah, and then all. Um, all I, your, I think I'd still do that one though. All of your doors have to stay open when you close them. It uses battery. Right. Yeah. Fucking dumb, stupid, dumb loser stuff. Like, it takes it takes like for the one I was doing, it takes power to blink. <laughs> uh, uh, it's <laughs> that's that like like two blinks. That's like one percent. Oh god, no. Elijah, this is the end of the show. This is a this is a time where we like to rejoice and thank our viewers for listening to our podcast. That's yeah. Uh, we would also like to uh, ask uh, any of you who enjoy this podcast to go to iTunes and rate it uh, how you feel like you should rate it. And if you did enjoy it, don't rate it. If you did enjoy it, rate it. That's that's the that's the stipulation. If you got this far and you don't like it, who's really who's really suffering here? Yeah. So um, no, no, no. But but please rate us what you what you think we deserve and tell us why you rated us that. If it's a five star, we'd love to hear why you think we're a five star. And why and if why it's a why someone else should star. listen to it because the yeah. reviews aren't for us necessarily. Uh, first, they make us feel good. Well, it makes us feel great. If they're good. Um, but it's for someone who says, "Oh, the Collision Shack. What dumb? Let me check what, out the reviews. What dumb, non-specific, terrible named podcast <laughs> is this? It definitely is improv, knowing from the title. I, I personally love our name, but I get why it's fucking stupid. <laughs> oh, 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 we have a podcast. It's called the Collision Shack. Really? What do you guys do? Oh, we do improv comedy. Oh, wait, really? Well, that's sort of the joke. Like I'll, on Twitter, I'll sometimes be like. <laughs> you know, like, oh, down the collision shack, we give you the best fish and tips for when you're out on the fucking bayou. <laughs> and and uh, then they listen to our highlight, and it's about cum. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, yeah, and then sometimes if they ask for, like, oh, hey, can it, like, can I have a, a – do anyone have a good sports podcast? And I'd be like, oh, yeah, well, listen to the sports cast. This is where, you know, we talk about sports, blah, blah, blah. And then I'll be like, a recently renamed Collision Shack. <laughs> <Recently> renamed. <laughs> it, it used to be called Sports Cast. Oh, you understand. Collision Shacks. That's it. Yeah. Um, also, if you wouldn't mind, if you loved the podcast, if you joined our Patreon, I wouldn't mind that. Yeah, you joined um, a Patreon. What do you get, Elijah? What do you get? What are the so awesome perks you get? On if this? you join our Patreon, not only you at donate, any level, you at donate level. to our Patreon. Let's let's be yeah, specific. Yeah, yeah. You can't just go and join. You have to donate either a dollar or uh, more, just, or uh, just a dollar. Uh, well, just a dollar or more. But if you get five dollars, you get extra prizes. Yes. Extra so <laughs> extra. The claw game actually works now. It actually picks up stuff. <laughs> um. So. Uh, it, at our first tier, first of all, we're gonna give you a shout out on the show. Absolutely, easy peasy. Whatever name you give us, we're gonna be like Barble Dunkelman. Barble Dunkelman. Barble Dunkelman. <laughs> Barble Dunkelman. Uh, and the biggest thing I think that you get is uh, about a, a solid thirty minutes or so of extra content after we end our main podcast. Mm-hmm. We go into the Collision Corner, the after podcast, mm-hmm. which is more of just a uh, uh, loose formatting, loose you know, less none of the music uh, and more of a just a. Uh, uh, a talking, a shooting. A if you're, shooting, if you're, if you're donating around. to us, you like us for a reason, right? So. And and it's just us talking about our lives and different parts of our lives. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times, we'll we're funny. We talk about sometimes our, <laughs> we talk about our sexual fantasies with our uh, patrons, obviously. Which there are many. There are many sexual fantasies. <laughs> many. They plague my nightmares. Um, um, it's unfortunate, actually. <laughs> you also get a video version of this podcast right now. Look, Elijah. Look at the camera. 
See, the audio listeners don't get that. They don't, they don't, get that. They don't, they don't know don't, what we're doing. They don't. We don't get. We don't get anything that we that we deliver to the thing. And with that, you get uh, a 720p version, 30 frames a second. Oh, nice. Uh, directly uploaded to uh, YouTube unlisted. Um, 720p. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing clearing, changed. Clearing off my glasses. <laughs> um, you get that, and then uh, of course we're always we're always trying to make the the podcast better. And with uh, when you donate to the Patreon, it allows us to dedicate a little bit more time to doing our awesome craft. We, this is this is what we offer. But, you know, we'd like to spend more time, more effort. Um, and that just uh, shows people that are listening and uh, that they, you guys support us. And, like, also, you get a sticker. Also, you do. Oh, also, thing. you get a sticker if you join the $5. Well, I, honestly, if you join the $1 one, I'm going to give you a sticker because, like, so what not? do they get if they join the $5 one? Uh, two stickers. Just That's kidding. bullshit. Uh, no, they, the, the $5 one gets. Uh, Actually, it, it, really, honestly, nothing. You get nothing because it used to be something, but we've restructured it so much that I think we fucked it into nothingness. Yeah. Now, yeah, it's, it's maybe we should work on that. Well, just if you donate more money, you feel like you we deserve more money. I guess, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> such bullshit. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. I think it, whatever whatever comment you say, you give us to say, we have to say it on the podcast. That is the rule. But no one, no one does it. Obviously, someone so, do it. Someone, someone pays it. us five dollars. There is a couple of them. There is a couple of somehow. Them. <laughs> um. Anyway, like if you'd like to follow us, uh, because you just can't. You, you, you listen. You got the collision. The collision shack. You you binge watch all of collision shack. You binge watch all the collision corner because you're giving us one dollar a month at right. Patreon dot org backslash 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 <laughs> collision dash shack collision. dash a one dash one hashtag e f j hashtag top dot http colon backslash backslash www dot <laughs> world wide web dot org <laughs> um, but if you seriously don't have enough of that awesome joke content that you just heard oh, uh, we are we, we are we're subscribable at collision shack on Instagram Twitter YouTube Facebook pretty much anything pretty else LinkedIn Link, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah LinkedIn uh, Flickr Flickr um, Tinder collision shack is official on Tinder we're on Bumble Bum, we, we're on Bumble uh, Cupid. Date, Bumble Friends, and Bumble Business. We are, <laughs> they wouldn't let us into Bumble Mimes. Bumble Mimes. <laughs> um, if you have a would you rather that you'd like to send in, also you can follow me and Travis at Travis Fletcher we're not or on Elijah f- Joseph M. But if you have a would you rather that you'd like to send in, or one that you or if you just wanted to say hi to us, that's if you give us, Let's say you give us $5 a month. Just send us a would you rather, and we're required to say it on the podcast. Crazy. If you don't, Give us a would you rather, and most and likely we're, we're going to say, say that. Yeah. Because, like, you know, you, we have a huge queue, and we only pick the best ones. That's true. Yeah, so. Um, yeah, we're, we're pulling from a pool of around 100 every every episode. So, yeah, Just definitely send in your best ones, and we're going to try to. Yep. Um, and last but certainly not least, thank you so much to Dave Shumkin, the Scream ah, Eagles, for the. Ah, <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for the uh, Dave Shumka and the Screaming Eagles. To Dave Shumka and his band, the Screaming Eagles, yeah. for the use of our theme song. Do, 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 do. do, do. do. I think that's about it. Yeah. Um, if you're a patron, st- stay tuned because we have a because there's more. There's, there's more. A, after there's, this. there's so much more. Elijah, shake. More, more after this break. Elijah, uh, virtually shake my hand. <laughs>